No way. And we are the Nights of Entertainment, a podcast covering your favorite and unknown movies, games, comic books, anime, and more weekly. We appreciate you being here and hope you enjoy the show. And this is what we are covering tonight. Stuff. <laughs> but before we do, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You can enjoy the show on YouTube, Spotify, Rumble, Odyssey, and more. We also have membership tiers on those platforms if you'd like to support the channel, or you can check out buymeacoffee.com forward slash KOE podcast. You know what's weird? The world. <laughs> now, you know what's weird? Lately, the, something that, that really, uh, like, uh, really upset my entire uh, life view was streaming services and something that happened on a streaming service where I was like, this is absolute fucking bullshit. Well, what, out, of, out of everything that's happened on streaming service, what is this? Well, it's this, like, it's it, it's what drove me like, this is fucking ridiculous. Imagine having like 15 streaming services, right? Mm -hmm. Or okay, let me let me be realistic. Imagine having uh, let's see, you have what I had, Crunchyroll, um, uh, Max, uh, Tubi, Netflix, Hulu, Paramount Plus, Peacock TV. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, did I say Hulu already? Mm -hmm. uh, Paramount Plus. I think that was it. Seven of them. Seven, maybe give or take one more. Maybe give yeah, give or take. Oh, Disney Plus. That's eight. And imagine you're like, man, you know what I need to see right now? Saving Private Ryan. And so you go to where it was distributed, Paramount Plus. It's not there. You go to Netflix, it's not there. You go to Hulu, it's not there. You go to uh, Max, it's not. It's none on uh, not one of your streaming services. Whatever movie you want to see right. across the entire span of all your fucking streaming uh, purchases, subscriptions, mm -hmm. you can't find the one movie you want to see. Yeah, I, and I've it's like this that. is absolutely fucking. Bull. I could go to fucking vintage stock, half price books, and buy it for like fucking seven dollars, if that, and just have it. Yeah, if that though, like it might be two dollars. So what drove me away from streaming services almost entirely, if it wasn't for them having exclusive bullshit that I can't watch anywhere else, right? Uh, was I was on Paramount Plus and I was watching the Jackass TV show. Mm -hmm. Just the old shows. It's on Paramount Plus. The same with Wild Boys. You know, whoa, whoa, whoa. And uh, the old episodes of Jackass. And for whatever reason, as my brain works, I was like, you know what I need to watch now? Jackass number two. Not number one, number two. So I go look for number two. And lo and be fucking hold, Paramount Plus does not have Jackass 2. They have Jackass 1. They got Jackass 3. Jackass 3.5. They got Jackass Forever. They got Wild Boys. They got all the episodes of Jackass. They have all the lost episodes of Jackass. But they don't have Jackass Episode 2 or 2.5. And that shit, that, that shit was like the coffin into, the, no, the nail in the coffin. Right, like, right. what the fuck am I wasting like $120 a month? On shit that I which, can't, which is almost the same price. Watch, I mean that's almost the same price as what basic cable was. And then you know what happened? I just bought the entire thing on like on Amazon for twenty dollars. Yeah. So I have right now Jackass, Jackass Two, Jackass Two Point Five, Jackass Three, Jackass Three Point Five. They gave me Bad Grandpa and Bad Grandpa Two Point Five or Point Five. I don't like those at all. All the episodes of Jackass. That, they're, they're mine forever. Right. In physical form. And you have physical... That's what I don't like about a lot of the games, too, now. Where you have, buy the digital copies of everything. Well, like, they, at least they give you the whole game. And you yes. own it. But then again, they also give you a bunch of updates that you always have to download. You can't just play the fucking game the way it is. We call that Call of Duty. <laughs> we call that Warzone. <laughs> where you, you, you haven't played in a couple weeks, right? You're like, shit, man. You, let, let's get on Warzone. And your friend's like, yeah! Let's wait after this 87 gigabyte uh, update, <laughs> and then we can play. And especially because I have really good internet service, right? Yeah. Uh, an 83 gigabyte uh, download, right, is, I kid you not, like five, six minutes. Well, lucky for some people, huh? My cousins, like, I guess I'll see you in seven hours. But yeah. And I'm like, God. <laughs> That's about like mine. God. And I'm like, God. I can download like uh, uh, fucking uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, which is like 107 gigabytes. Yeah. Be like half an hour, 20 minutes. Well, some of us aren't that lucky. When I first downloaded it, right, when I before I had the good internet, it took me like three and a half days. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess I'm putting my fucking PS4 on standby mode. <laughs> See, what I do is I have the app. So I just, whenever I'm at work, it's like, well, I might want to play this later on. So start the download. Let me download I'm up here. Oh, man. And then hope that the power doesn't go out at any point. So, yeah. So, like, oh, yeah, that would suck. <laughs> That's it. 
But man, like it just like I could I was like this is it was just ridiculous. Yeah. I could I could have like uh all that money and just buy the movies and TV shows on my watch. Mm-hmm. I like I'll buy go buy the Sopranos for like sixty dollars and have the whole fucking series yeah. there. And if because even when they have their own content like exclusively made on their fucking channel. Right. Or their their like, like Netflix, Netflix their does. service, right? Mm-hmm. They actually take stuff down. Yes. Like the biggest culprit right now is Max and Disney Plus. Oh, they're horrible. Like at the, it. their original content is just fucking gone forever. You'll never get to see it. No DVD releases. It's gone. Right. Well, like with Disney Plus, okay, they have an entire archive of all this Disney shit that's been around forever, and they start pulling shit down. Like you, then you're just like, and why the, am I paying for this? And the worst thing is like, what if like you want to take it slow, right? Mm-hmm. Like today I'll watch a little bit of The Shield. Right. Tomorrow I'll watch uh, this uh, new show I found. Uh, two episodes in and then the next day like little but not enough binge right right because i don't have the willpower to binge anymore i found that out <laughs> trying to watch the one piece live action i'm like oh i can't even get through two episodes there was that video that, that meme of, of vegeta when he's looking up at the uh at the at the rain right and he's like when you realize you can't binge like you used to <laughs> and this is like defeated <laughs> Uh, so like, and if, if I go back, right. Mm-hmm. And like, like, like a month, like, like three weeks later, let me go back on, uh, the shield and watch another couple more episodes and the shit's gone off the fucking streaming platform. Like son of yep. a bitch. The FOMO is real. The fear of missing out. Max does that shit a lot though. Like whenever, like, uh, what was it? Uh, whenever they put out a new movie and it, it streams, mm-hmm. like, what is it, like a couple of weeks after it's in theaters now? I remember they fucking gave me Godzilla vs. Kong the day of. Yeah. It came in theaters. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, is this gonna be shit then? And it wasn't. It All was right. good. Yeah. I mean, I don't believe that Kong should have lost. Fuck you. No, Godzilla was always gonna win. <laughs> Fuck Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla's the king of the monsters. Hey, man, sometimes the king has to be put down. Yeah, but it didn't happen. He should have just waited until Godzilla <laughs> turned his back right and fucking chopped him in the back of the head. As all humans would do. <laughs> Take a cheap shot. Kong got on his knees like a little bitch. No, he didn't. He was on his back. And he and oh, sorry. he was on his back, right? Legs spread. <laughs> and then Godzilla uh, leaned over him and roared at him, right? Mm-hmm. And then basically it was a dominance roar. Yeah. And King, King Kong, like a, like a G, was like, all right, all right. He roared back at him, right? Like you got to kill me then, because I ain't fucking subduing. And then, then he did. and then no, he didn't. That was the whole point. That fucking robot came out. Mecca. Yeah, because Godzilla was if 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 it's an animalistic thing, he was sub- gonna kill Kong mm-hmm. because Kong was not gonna submit, even though he was beaten. That's why he was roaring back. <laughs> like he was like to the death. Then he's like to the death. That's my that's my boy right there. To the he was like to the death. You gotta have to kill me because but, but he wasn't gonna die. He was. He, <laughs> to the death <laughs> kill me then but i ain't your bitch ain't no ain't no knees touching no dirt for you i said figuratively and then and then they they teamed up and they were like finally like uh well i guess we're cool then and cool then he's like kong's like i guess we are and then fucking godzilla leaves the fucking entire fucking <laughs> town the city devastated people are like where are we gonna live <laughs> all, all those hospitals destroyed they're just like oh, I'll see you. kong's like what i'll see you too bro <laughs> see you. And just fucking devastated <laughs> and then they never say how devastated the fucking locations are they are no. fucking wrecked that's why one like one of the funniest scenes from family guy is whenever it's uh, like that time that godzilla went up to haiti when he gets out of the water he's like we're doing his godzilla roar and he's like oh oh god then he goes back to the water because the city's so destroyed oh yeah <laughs> it's the most fucked up but like that like a, like a meta joke yeah, yeah. Like you really do fuck up when you try to help like you fuck up a lot <laughs> well no haiti is already was on fire and stuff oh well, that's what he because, saw when he got there yeah oh uh, destroyed He's like, oh, my God. oh, God, dang, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> like, you couldn't destroy anything in Haiti. No, so he's like, oh, I guess I'll just leave. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Like, I'm kind of sick of streaming services. But like I was saying, HBO Max, they are the worst. They're worse than Disney about it. Disney takes off things that have been part of their, like, catalog. Or they don't add stuff from, like, the old Disney cartoon catalogs and stuff like that. Yeah. But Max, they put it up when it's a new movie, like the Kong thing. Mm-hmm. It was up for like uh, three weeks. Then they take it away. It's like leaving in so many oh, days. Yeah. We're going to be in theaters now. Come get us. And then like two months later, then they'll put it back up. And again. they put it back and then no one gives a fuck after that. Exactly. That irritated. That's why I completely got rid of Max. Yeah. I got rid of it when it was still HBO Max. 
Yeah, that shit made me mad too, right? It was like one day it's like, guess what? We're not Ma- we're not HBO Max, we're just Max. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck does it matter? Like I was I was legit like what the because I guess because they're also like Warner Brothers or some shit. But it's still Mac. Like, yeah, like it's still give, HBO. I don't give a fuck about your f- weird uh, this, this, this specific like piss same contest. color same everything all they do is just change the words yeah they just dropped the like, hbo like well, nobody cares they should have dropped uh the price is what they should do <laughs> jesus it is expensive for no reason it's like fucking ten dollars with with commercials yeah and that's like fucking forty five dollars without commercials. That's what. That's the same reason that I got rid of Hulu a long time ago. Is because you pay to not have commercials, but then there's uh, there's certain shows that they air that you get commercials no matter what. Oh yeah. I was like, what kind of bullshit? I pay for no commercial. Why the fuck am I getting commercials here? And they're like, but wait, these are our commercials, so they we don't, don't they care. Don't count. <laughs> so they're basically like, guess what? Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, cause you, all I got right now is literally I got Tubi, which is uh, the goal of standard right now because it's free. Have you tried Freebie? I tried a little bit of it, yeah. Tubi's uh, probably better. But. Fucking Freebie, just like I, I, I fucking got on it right, mm-hmm. and I, all of a sudden it already has my email address. I didn't give you <laughs> shit. How did the fuck did you find me? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember putting starting a profile. Is what I'm saying. I'm like, that's weird. It just downloaded all your information. Yeah, I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, shit. Good thing I have nothing to hide. <laughs> Go ahead, man. <laughs> it's like, oh, we didn't mean to actually already put your information in. Sorry. <laughs> so I got Tubi, I guess Freebie. Mm-hmm. And Tubi, like, if you want to watch something weird, <laughs> you, <laughs> like, you can find something fucking weird. <laughs> on Tubi? Yeah. There's one, uh, I've seen it on TikTok. I haven't seen the episode, the, the show, the movie. Mm-hmm. It, it's a T- Tubi original. And uh, this, oh god, an original from Tubi. They have the originals, oh, yes. Yeah. I didn't know that. And they are exactly what you think they are. <laughs> They're like one step above an indie movie, for, made in for a, for a college exam. Well, anything better than something coming out of uh, Bollywood? No, they're doing the best. Have you seen some of them? They have oh. their own. They have their own interests that we don't have. No, the, <laughs> that defy the, the laws of physics. Sometimes the, the effects are bad. <laughs> well, they're, they're, I guess they're like they're like 1920s American Hollywood. There's no. There, I have no problem. There's with no it. like. There's no real. There's not really like a, a infrastructure outside of Hollywood, like Hollywood. You know. Yeah. So everything else is gonna look barbaric in comparison. And it does. And like I mean, you, you have a motorcycle just fly up and hover and then explode and then, but it's done with like uh, something that you would do with like an acrobat image where you just. Have, pull you, it. have you seen their Avengers movie? Yeah. <laughs> so the, so let's. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing in a hundred years, when people, people say Bollywood, there's more reverence like Hollywood. I, no, they. Uh, I say this in respect because Bollywood has made one or two that I can think of that have made it to Netflix and stuff like that that are not horrible, horrible. Like it's got to do with their culture and stuff like that. That's fine, but they'll, they'll figure it out. Oh my god! And then there's those ones that are coming out of Africa. I don't know if it's out of. Uh, it might be Nigeria or South Africa. I can't remember which, but oh my God, they're even worse. They're trying. Like, what the fuck is that? I'll have to show you some videos sometime. It's like, Hello? oh my God. I'm sure that they'll figure it out too. Before you know, there'll be all Hollywoods all over the place. <laughs> What's uh, not? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the Tubi original. So this guy is coming out of the super the uh, the convenience store, mm-hmm. and this other guy, I guess his enemy, is some guy that they they hate each other, right? He 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 just happens to be going to the same convenience store. He's like, oh, it's you, and he's like, you deserve to die, and he fucking just shoots the shit out of him, mm-hmm. boom, 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 and he runs away. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the the guy's family runs up because they're in the car. They come out like, oh no, he got shot. The guy that shot him runs to the edge of the sidewalk you saw it and he fucking cracks his shit on the fucking concrete they just fucking lays there they, they keep the scene going and he's just like, ah. <laughs> the actor's all fucked up and they just, completely forget about it they just like hey man we gotta keep the scene going we ain't got enough time for daylight and he's just like oh, oh. i've seen that i was like man that man is for real fucked up I seen that shit. It was hilarious. I seen that it was on a uh, a meme compilation. It's yeah. like, oh my god, they just kept it going. Yeah, they kept that scene going, and he was like, he just had to like roll out of frame. <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> I saw, I saw one. Uh, I saw one. This was the entire setup, right? Right. 
this guy had like uh he, he like he was he had like a, a, a secret job mm-hmm. that this other i don't know if it was his sister or whoever he was living with right and she's like i don't want this stuff in my house she, she found a box of condoms or some shit i don't know what the fuck was going on and i guess maybe she's christian or you know it's really strict there and all this and that her kids and everything right. are there i don't she don't want them to find this and he's like he's like i, I don't i don't work at that uh, whatever st- uh, place i told you i work at all right you know what i, I do i work as a gigolo all right <laughs> this dick pays for the mortgage and that's what he said. That's that's the line. Like this dick paper. That's what he said, and they stuck to it. They wrote that shit down. They had this actor say that shit in a serious tone. This dick pays for all these. Shit. You see, you see these fucking the groceries. This dick pays for those groceries. And I'm like, is this for real? It was just another two B original. Oh, dick, 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 dick pays for a lot of stuff. I think my dick could pay for a Kit Kat, maybe. <laughs> if that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not imagining women turning over a thousand dollars to me for my dick work. Would it be able to pay for a Dragon Ball DVD? What was the fifty cents one that you buy? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I have to rent that shit. <laughs> Put it on layaway. Put it on layaway. Ten cents at a time. <laughs> my dick paid for this house. <laughs> it ten cents like at a time. It, it, I don't know. His dick must be amazing because he's just, he's just paying for all this fucking lavish lifestyle now. But. uh so yeah, like all I have right now is Tubi, Freebie, Netflix. Like you need Netflix. It's only twenty dollars. It's went up from fucking twelve dollars to twenty now. Hey man, they gotta they gotta make a living too. No, they don't. No, fuck no, them. No, I'm just fuck them. <laughs> and they've already made it to where you can't share accounts no more. Yeah. And and uh, it's funny because they they thought it like people thought like oh that's it for Netflix, and they're actually they're fucking uh it's, um. So subscription sales went up. Yeah, so people had those like some of these motherfuckers. But it didn't work for Disney. Of course, it's not gonna work for Disney. What does Disney have? I don't want to see the Mandalorian. This is the way. Some some dude at my work said because I had a beard and a, and the black mask, right? I looked like the I looked like a Mandalorian, and I'm just like and I'm I made that man's day. I was like when he before he left, right? He's like this is the way, and he's like oh God, he finally came in his pants. <laughs> so you're welcome, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not even that big of a nerd but damn <laughs> <laughs> no it was a nice little uh funny uh nerd moment i'm a nerd but i'm a different nerd you know but we, we can be we can come together as a nerd unity yes but any nerd that likes the mandalorian the entire series or this new star wars series they're not really nerds no, they love star wars they're, they're star wars fanboys there's a difference what about the girls just fan girls too there's actually a girl on uh, YouTube, the, that Star Wars girl. She's made fun of that so much at this point. Uh, the entire Star Wars franchise. It's like, what the fuck is this? Mm. It's, uh, it's highly diluted now. Yeah. The same with uh, the MCU. Yes. There's something just something about like something about it being too much. It's like, you know, they're, they're like, here you go. Here's a chocolate cake. You're like, fuck yeah, chocolate cake. Here's a chocolate cake. And then here's a chocolate cake. And then like they, they give you like a fucking a pound of chocolate. You're like, I don't want any more chocolate cake. And on top, every time they give you a chocolate cake, it starts losing quality over and over and over. <laughs> it's like cardboard <laughs> and dirt. Yeah. Here's some more chocolate cake. I mean, I guess that's the one thing that you can say about DC is they haven't put out enough movies to really dilute anything on their side so far. DC can't make movies. That's exactly. The That's why they buy all these properties. They can't make a damn thing anymore. Now, they're great at animation movies. They were. Uh, have, have you seen any of the newer ones? I don't know. Now, cartoons, I'll say, yeah, they're not all that great. <laughs> you, you want to talk about cartoons? Just today, I saw on TikTok one of those old, old uh, Disney cartoons where it was, oh. <laughs> it, it was Mick, uh, Mickey Mouse Donald Duck and Goofy, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know if Goofy has another name, does he? Uh, are you talking about Pluto? No, no. Like, like you have Mickey Mouse, mm-hmm. first last name. Donald Duck, first last name. And just Goofy. Does he not have another name? Uh, or is it just Goofy? I think it might just be Goofy. That's sad. I'm sure somewhere he probably does have a last name. And they are, in, in the episode, they are fucking broke. They're so broke. Mickey's slicing uh, bread, right? And he's like fucking slices of bread. He's slicing them so thin that they're transparent. <laughs> and he gives two slices to Donald and two slices to Goofy and two slices for himself, right? And then he, he takes his big jar out and he, he fucking uh, 
uh, turns it over and out, fu- out comes out one fucking bean and he slices it in three feet pieces, one for each of them. And then Donald puts the fucking uh, bean in between the two slices of bread. He fucking holds it up. You can just see it transparent inside. It's just with the one bean in the middle of the two fucking transparent. And he just goes ape shit. <laughs> like, we can't fucking live like this. <laughs> He just starts fucking losing his mind. I'm like, damn, they went hard back then. Yeah. I mean, compared to now, yeah. That shit was fucking funny. He's just watching <laughs> Daffy Duck or Donald Duck just <laughs> flip out. Yeah, like I would, like it, it, a justifiable flip out. Like, we can't live like this shit anymore. We're eating a fucking transparent toast with a bean. With a one bean in the middle. <laughs> he just started trying to eat everybody's food. <laughs> he's eating spoons and fucking forks in the plates because he's so fucking <laughs> mad. <laughs> and they're trying to hold him back. And shit is hilarious. Do it in that voice, though. Yeah, in that voice. Wait, isn't his uncle rich, though? What the fuck? Did he yeah, have Scrooge? Why didn't you go ask him for some money? That was probably before they had Scrooge. Before they invented him? Yeah. Man. So, yeah, like, I'm kind of like, I'm not, don't even kind of want to get any more streaming services. Yeah. I, I don't thought really because either. when I took a hit at work, like, oh, I got I to gotta put away all my streaming services. And it hasn't made much of an effect. And yeah, no, it hasn't. That's weird. I'm on YouTube 99% of the time. Yeah. And if I'm not on YouTube, I just pull, pop a DVD. Like, let me watch Jackass. I watched Jackass 2 like six times out of <laughs> rage. <laughs> of Peacock not having it? Uh, no, Paramount, uh, Paramount Plus. Paramount, yeah. If I still have it only because of the fucking new South Park movies. Well, they're going to come out sometime here in the next few months. The two every year since 2023. Yeah. Or no, 2022. It's already been four. Mm-hmm. There was two in 2022, two last year. So it's going to be two this... No, 2021? 2021, yeah. What the fuck is going on with my life? <laughs> You've lost track of the years already. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's all I want Paramount Plus for. Is some fucking... Uh, <laughs> speaking about Jackass 2, when you go to the special features, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Chris Pontius is having... The, he's having this weird, like... Like uh, something that he's observed in uh, in uh, gay sex, specifically what he talked about was gay sex, was that was isn't it weird? Like he just looks at the camera. Isn't it weird that that when when uh, uh, you're the uh, how do you say it? Okay, yeah. When when you're the receiver in a blowjob, you look innocent, but the giver giving the blowjob looks all you know. Uh, like uh, uh, dirty because they're doing the the whole the action, right? And then he said, like, but but it isn't. Here's the weird part: when you're the receiver in anal sex, the one receiving looks kind of goofy and uh, weird, and the one giving it looks innocent and pure. And I'm like, what the fuck kind of <laughs> crack are you smoking? What are you talking about? <laughs> and I have not forgotten it since. <laughs> I'm like, so you look innocent getting a blowjob, but you get you look goofy getting anal. Yeah, it's basically what he's saying, and I'm like, I guess I gotta watch more gay porn to, f- to have it. Maybe I gotta study it. I don't know. Let me, let me, let me check. <laughs> they watch 67 straight hours of gay pornography. Oh God! And yeah, he's right. They, they do look innocent, but they look goofy. <laughs> I shall now go retire. <laughs> I'm done with life. <laughs> uh, so that's basically it. That's that's my stance right now is uh, physical copies. I agree. I think people should have physical copies. Not only that, but uh, fucking Max, how the fuck are you going to have all the episodes of South Park, but have the fucking five episodes banned? Uh, yeah, that's stupid, too. Like, I get, like, whenever uh, Comedy Central took them off, like, they didn't replay them or anything like Hell that. Oh, yeah, they were going to get fucking killed. But that's them streaming at all times, so it's a little different. But whenever it's on demand, yeah, like you it's should be able to watch it. Right, you should be able to watch it anytime you want to. So that's another thing. That's the, the Max is just taking hit after hit. I agree. Uh, aside from if, if Disney Plus was not around to take even more shit than them, <laughs> Max would be just getting shit on all day. Yeah, exactly. Everyone thought that Max was going to come in and just fucking just trounce. Please. Uh, Netflix. And Netflix is just like standing up on, on some balcony, like just eating an apple, laughing. And just them raising the prices as much as they have recently. Mostly whenever they're taking away content at the same time. It's right. like, so what the fuck am I even paying And, for? like, they're not even near the level of Netflix to be doing that shit. No, and I I, I get pissed at Netflix for doing it. And Netflix is like, we don't care. We're French. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically Netflix's stance. But, like... They're like the McDonald's and Walmart of streaming services. Yeah. They're going to win no matter what. See, it makes you want to go back to a time when there was Blockbuster. Ah, Blockbuster. <laughs> 
Because remember, Netflix started out by mailing you. Yeah, I movies. remember that. Hey, uh, that one's got a. I, I got a DVD from Blockbuster, right? A game, and I opened it up, and shit was ripped in half. Like it was broken in half. The whole game. I'm like, they check these before they give them to you. How the fuck did it get broken on my way here to my house? So I took it back. I'm like, hey, the fuck happened? They opened it like, oh shit, this shit is broken in half. <laughs> Scott is my witness. He's broken in half. I kind of want to get Peacock in just to watch the uh, the the pro wrestling uh, pay per views. I love uh, I love me pro wrestling. Yeah, just two big men, sweaty, <laughs> throwing each other around, hardly wearing any clothes. I don't know why. I, I don't know why it appeals to me. <laughs> Can't fathom it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah like the prices just in general though it's like you're literally almost paying as much as what people left cable from basically like yeah. people got tired of spending almost 200 dollars for a, a month for the fucking cable and then banning episodes still and everything and to go to streaming services they're doing the same shit so because now you have to if you wanted to have everything that you want to watch like like uh, the entire fucking spectrum of content now. right you're paying like you'd have, have, have to buy like 57 streaming services yeah. and then if you include like uh say nfl oh fuck. like if you want to say that's that service alone uh, like what is it uh fubo i think is the the channel that carries most of the nfl games now mm -hmm. that's like 60 bucks a month it's like damn you nfl it's like what the fuck is this and it's only like like a certain time of the year right so it's like you're wasting money the rest of the fucking year exactly and I mean, obviously, it still has like soccer and you know shit like that. No one but. watches soccer, but soccer stars or fans. <laughs> so like 90, all of the people that play, like like ninety percent of the population watch soccer. Yeah, <coughs> minus America. <coughs> exactly. This is America. This is America. We this don't is my area. We don't watch that little bullshit. <laughs> that's that's for uh, grade school and middle school to play. <laughs> it was funny because as much as uh, I can't remember the statistic, but. Uh, for the number of people that actually uh, watch and pay for like uh, pro soccer in the mm -hmm. United States and that pay attention to it, almost every city, no matter how small, has a soccer field. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> like even in, in uh, Denver, which is in the mountains, they have soccer fields everywhere. Oh, they must get tired. <laughs> Trying to breathe and in the like elevation up there. <laughs> But my point is, it's like, yeah, kids play it as like a, a recreational sport, but we don't take it seriously. Mm, not really. It's just not our culture, I guess. It's weird. No. And what I find funny, too, is that you always get a bunch of uh, people from Britain saying that it's not called soccer. It's called football. But they're the ones that invented the word soccer. Yeah, football. They invented the word soccer, though. We just took it from them. They got no choice, probably. And then they changed it to football. Yeah, it is what it is. No, football is where you get a bunch of big ass motherfuckers and they just slam into each other. <laughs> bunch of fucking a freight train smash it into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, imagine getting hit by some of them dudes. Like Jesus. Six foot six and three hundred and fifty pounds. Six foot nine, four forty five. <laughs> Utah State. <laughs> some big old boys out there. <laughs> They can't run real fast, but damn, they could knock you over. Hey, when they get in a line, you can't. When they get, yeah, they ain't going through that. <laughs> it's like, oh shit! Just one of them trips and falls. It's like, it's like run. You ever see that that, that video of that big guy falling on that that other guy on the beach? Yeah, it's that. <laughs> that poor man. His he thought the world was crashing down on him. He's like, Argh. it's almost like whenever Big Ed threw that uh, one girl into the ocean. <laughs> he committed murder. <laughs> What the fuck? He body slammed her on the beach because they went to the beach for the day. And it, it, everybody made fun of it because he lifted her up and like slammed her ass into the water. It's like, oh shit, the beluga. He Jesus, whale. How, what? You said, you said whale. What did even think? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> whale. I guess I was trying to say whale. And instead you said whale. The beached whale out there. <laughs> the big end, the beached whale. Like that, that, like that humpback whale they found in the, in the middle of the Amazon. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Guy? What in the science fiction fantasy is going on around here? Did someone just teleported to fucking? Did he just did it? That did that humpback whale walk into a fucking portal? Like he just swam into a portal and just got sucked into the Amazon somehow? It went through the thing like Godzilla has. Like, like a, yeah, like a ripple through fucking time and space. What the hell happened? <laughs> Were they doing an experiment and under the underwater with a submarine and a scientist? 
And the hunt is like, oh fuck, we and then we got a whale. <laughs> instead of the instead of the ship, he teleported the whale. Yeah. It's like, oh damn. Well, that's pretty much it for today. Yeah, I'm, tapped, I'm tapped out on streaming services. I got a lot of gay porn to watch. <laughs> it's a whole stuff I gotta do. <laughs> and with that, we will talk to you guys on the next one.